Today, let's dive again into the fascinating world of psychopathy, specifically examining the question of how to spot the predators among us. Now, do psychopaths truly walk among us? Get ready to put on your thinking caps, because the answer could be unexpected. Welcome back to Wellness Lenses, where every conversation is a deep dive into mental wellness. If you're new here, a special warm welcome to you as well. We know you're going to like it here. If today's topic is something that appeals to you, please consider subscribing to our channel for more content on mental health and psychology. We're now also on Substack, so check the link in the description box below. Imagine this, a captivating person radiating self-assurance and effortlessly handling social interactions. They could be your work colleague, neighbor, or even friend. However, beneath that charming exterior, there might be a mind that functions in a unique way compared to others. Today, we will delve into the enigmatic world of psychopathy, examining its characteristics, roots, and most importantly, how to identify the unmistakable indicators. First things first, let's establish the definitions. Psychopathy is not officially diagnosed in clinical settings. Instead, it is recognized as a collection of specific personality characteristics. Psychopaths frequently exhibit lack of empathy, guilt, and remorse, along with impulsiveness and a talent for manipulation. Before jumping to conclusions about your eccentric friends, remember that psychopathy varies, and not everyone displaying certain characteristics poses a danger. Let's take a brief look into the psychopathic brain. Studies, like the groundbreaking research conducted by Dr. James Fallon, have revealed that psychopaths frequently exhibit distinct neurological patterns in their brains. The amygdala, which is considered the emotional hub of the brain, might operate in a unique way, leading to a decreased capacity to feel emotions such as fear and empathy. Delving into these neurological intricacies allows us to uncover the depths of psychopathy. So what do you need to look out for? Beware of a consistent display of charm, an inflated self-image, and a lack of guilt for their behavior. It's important to note that not everyone displaying these characteristics is a psychopath, but when they appear together frequently, it's worth taking notice. Let's imagine this guy, Alex. He is the colleague who consistently stands out in the office. When faced with a demanding project, Alex stands up, volunteering to work extra hours and confidently reassuring the team with statements such as, we'll crush this deadline. Alex comes across as dedicated and supportive, garnering admiration from colleagues. He appears to be the office superhero, constantly coming to the rescue. Colleagues are impressed by his apparent dedication, and you begin to see Alex as the perfect team player. However, the facade of normalcy is in action here. Behind the scenes, a clever manipulation is at work. During team meetings, when someone suggests an idea, Alex might chime in with, that's a good start, but what if we tweak it a bit? I was considering something like this. There's a subtle pattern of redirecting credit and influence. Alex skillfully maintains a charming facade while tactically pursuing his own goals. Expertly shifting credit, he subtly presents himself as the solution provider and makes seemingly complimentary comments with a touch of manipulation, like, you have such a remarkable talent for generating these creative ideas. Your creativity is truly inspiring. Or imagine Sarah, a new friend who captivates everyone with her engaging stories and delightful personality. She consistently has the perfect story for any scenario. Upon closer examination, a pattern emerges. Sarah tends to exaggerate her achievements and experiences. Expressions such as, Last weekend was so crazy for me. I got to enjoy a private concert with my favorite band. They absolutely love putting on a show for me. Such bold declarations might suggest a craving for ongoing approval and a wish to seem larger than life. This is a subtle indication that deserves further examination. Or let's look at Tom, an acquaintance who always maintains a calm and composed demeanor. Despite the chaos surrounding him, Tom always keeps a calm demeanor. Yet, his composed facade appears almost flawless. When discussions get intense, Tom fails to show real empathy. He could reply with, It's important for us to keep our attention on the task ahead. Feelings alone won't get us anywhere. Not showing emotional responsiveness might be a cause for concern. Although individuals may differ in how they show emotions, 
a continual lack of empathy or emotional connection could indicate a more serious underlying problem. When looking for signs, it's important to focus on consistency and behavioral patterns. Exaggeration and a lack of sincere emotional reaction are just a couple of possible signs. Listen to your gut feelings and pay attention to any unusual behaviors as they might indicate deeper traits linked to psychopathy. Keep in mind, it's not about being excessively distrustful of everyone you encounter, but rather being attentive and noticing patterns that could suggest a discrepancy between someone's behavior and how they present themselves. Psychopaths excel at portraying a facade of normal behavior. They have a remarkable ability to effortlessly integrate into society, taking on different personas to conceal their real selves. It feels as though it's a live-action hide-and-seek game. But regrettably, they tend to hide in obvious places. Now, you may be asking yourself, how can I make it through an encounter with a psychopath? Above all, rely on your instincts. If you have a gut feeling that something is not right, trust it. Set clear boundaries and be willing to step away from unhealthy relationships. Always keep in mind that your health and happiness come first. Have you ever experienced a strange interaction that made you doubt someone's intentions? Feel free to share your story in the comments below. Let's establish an environment where open dialogue and encouragement are valued. Ultimately, the study of psychopaths' psychology is intricate yet essential. Understanding the characteristics, recognizing the indicators, and relying on your intuition will help you maneuver through social situations with confidence. Always keep in mind that knowledge will protect you and empathy will guide you. Keep that curiosity alive, stay informed, and may your path to self-discovery be both enlightening and empowering. If you found valuable information in this video, please give it a like, share it with your loved ones, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you've made it this far, a special thank you to you. In case you missed it, we're now on Substack. You can get free summaries of each video if you subscribe. And if you want full details of each video's topic with references and helpful resources, we offer a paid subscription for a small fee. Just click the link below. See you in the next video.